One cupped up right on the front. Looks like a nice drake there. Definitely going to be one of the bigger ones, but we're going to try and get on these like seven or eight in the back here. Oh my God. Let's definitely take this one. Before we start off today's video, I just want to take a minute and tell you guys how grateful I am for all the amazing and just unbelievable amount of support in the last couple of videos. Two days ago, that video was the biggest video that I've ever had uh, in the last four years of me doing YouTube. So thank you for that. That, that was incredible. But anyways, I want to get back out here today and do a little bit of duck hunting because you guys said that you wanted to head out to the Yukon Valley and see some of these ducks. And these honestly, in my opinion, are some of the most beautiful ducks out there. Well, we just got to our setup here. There's our decoys right in front of us. And what I just realized was, I don't know if this collar is actually going to lure in the harlequin duck. Here they come, here they come. First one just got smoked. Second one. Third one. Oh my god, that works so perfect. Okay, so they never really made a sound. All of a sudden I heard like a And I think that that must have been the wings flapping or something, but oh, that was so awesome. Well, that's definitely one pretty good way to start off a hunt. From our first spot, we already have one, two, three, and four harlequin duck down right here. Let's head over and go take a look at some of these ducks. There's going to be our first one, and that's going to be a 6.6 .6 gold. That's very cool. 32 yards out. And I think we might get him out of because it's a pretty decent sized duck. 7.2 you need for diamond. But yeah, that's a beautiful looking duck right there. This will be our second duck here. And that one's actually even a little bit bigger. A 6.7. We got him at 43 yards out. Another just beautiful looking duck. These really are something, aren't they? A 6.5 gold. We got him at 39 yards out. Looks like we hit him right in the wing as he was flying away there. Very cool. And then this one right here, another Drake Harlequin Duck. Look at that. All four males, they all came in and we just smoked all of them. What a nice shot there too, actually. Looks like it was going right for the lung. 37 yards out on the fly and another really nice Drake Harlequin Duck right there. So this is going to be a little different because I've been trying to scout out some good spots for Harlequin Duck and uh, they're very few and far in between if you know what I'm saying. But anyways, what I'm going to try and do is basically locate a flock, set up decoys on that spot and come back in the morning and then hope that I can find some ducks. And once I get some ducks from there, then I'm going to move on to the next spot, kind of jump from spot to spot to spot and just see however many ducks we can get. If I find a really good spot, I'll show you the location. Uh, otherwise, I'll just keep on going from spot to spot because they are very hard to find a decent flock of ducks. All right, guys, we just got to our next spot here and a duck already just landed right on top of us here. It looks like it is a hen harlequin duck. But there should definitely be more ducks around here. What was that noise? Is it going to rain? Is it raining? No, it's snowing. It's snowing. Well, that's going to... Oh, we got a duck. I hear more. Got two ducks. I hear another one. No way. All of a sudden, I was like, what is that sound? It sounds like it's either raining or something. I look up and I see snow and then I hear something flapping and three more ducks came piling in. We already had the hen on the water and then the other two ducks. I don't even know what they were. They came in so fast that like, who knows what they were and it's kind of dark still. So that's the one that came in and I thought, okay, we got to take this down. It looked like it was some kind of rare duck. It's a gray female uh, hen harlequin duck. That's cool. Definitely going to the trophy launch. Oh, we got two more. I think we ended up getting all... What? That's a hen. A gold hen? I didn't know that hens could make gold. That's probably a first. Did we get all hens though? And we did get all hens. Alright, well. Not quite as good as our last spot, but hey, at least we did get a rare. So that's pretty cool. So we've been sitting here for about 20 minutes now and we definitely have one duck coming right down the pipe right towards us here. We're gonna get ready on him. Perfect shot, he's down. I couldn't quite tell if it was a drake or a hen, but let's find out. I believe that might be a drake. Yeah, first drake, that's awesome. 
It's definitely a Drake, a 6.7 gold. We got him at 40 yards out on the fly. You know, I wish that they would actually fix this. They did fix a lot of the uh, bird shot for small game animals. It does show the pattern, but for ducks, for some reason, it's like broken. Obviously that duck just got smoked. We put like a two foot lead on him. Should have got hit like probably 10 times in the neck, maybe three times in the chest and two times in the wing. And it says we only hit it one time way up high in the tip of the wing. So clearly that is not right. Well, now we got a nice little bonus trot out here at about 170. That's a fox and we have the M1. I just got to make sure we can uh, equip it real quick. All right, there he is out there. And smoked him. Cool. Nice little bonus, you know? We're doing a little duck hunt here and a fox comes across and it's actually a female and we made a walking 150 yard double lung heart shot with the M1. So a beautiful shot there and that's gonna be a thousand cash. Kinda cool. All right, we're heading over to our next spot now. We have our decoy set up right here and we're sitting right in our blind. We're maybe like 250 yards away from our last spot. If you look at that kind of a structure over there, I don't even know what it is. Like some kind of a, a well or something. Uh, we were right over there on the opposite side of that shoreline before. Well, this spot looks good, but we've been sitting here for about 25 minutes now and not one single duck. All right, so I'm going to give you a little bit of a piece on scouting these ducks here. We just found a pretty decent flock. You see there's about 10 ducks in that flock out there. That means when we come back tomorrow, they'll come somewhere around like 400 yards away to the decoys. As long as our decoys are set up within 400 yards of these ducks, they should come in to our decoys. So that means we would potentially be good right here. Actually, I just realized we have a lodge over there about 500 yards away and there's a point right there If we get to there, we should be about 200 yards away from these ducks. They're right out there So we're gonna do that. We're gonna go tomorrow morning Set up our decoys there and our blind there and come back at 7:30 in the morning So I thought I'd show you a little bit of how we're gonna set up on these ducks here right here's where we spotted both flocks of ducks here and here There's a lodge right here. We looped around here. We set up a tent here we're gonna go on this peninsula, set up our blind here and our decoys right here and come back in the morning. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put out 20 decoys. We'll put out 10 hens and 10 drakes. And what I like to do is I put out five in a row going one way and then I put out the other five in a row going the opposite way. Kind of like they're swimming towards each other. All right, now we'll come back in the morning and hopefully we're on some ducks. Now, I think this part's kind of important. So we know the ducks are gonna be coming out here somewhere. Uh, 9.30 it looks like. But the first flock comes out at 7.30 in the morning. So when we change the time back to, what we want to do is get out here at like 6.50. So we have a little bit of time to get ready. But what I also want to do is go far away from this complete uh, area here and go over here. And then from this location, I'll change the time to seven o'clock or 6.50, like I said. And then I'll fast travel back over to that tent. That way it gives the animals a chance to spawn in that area. And it doesn't affect that kind of spawn rate there. I usually run three quarters of the way and once I get close to the decoy setup within like 50 yards then I just start walking because you never know when the ducks are going to come in and you don't want to be running when the ducks are you know cupped up and on the way to your decoys. Alright looks like we got a duck coming in here one loner so we're going to wait until a couple more come in. I believe that's a hen as well. Still pretty cool that that duck just landed right on top of us. Oh she didn't like it too much she's taking off. Oh my god, look at the size of this flock of ducks coming in. Look the size of this flock. I kind of want to call just to see if it might get their attention, but that is one massive... They're coming in. Oh my god, they're coming in. Those are all drakes. That is definitely the flock that we were looking for right there, guys. Whew. Hopefully they break. Looks like they're... Definitely doing something. Yeah, they're cupping up. They're cupping up. They're looping hard to the right, though. It's hard to tell, like, where they're going. But they should be coming into our decoys. I don't even want to call because then it could uh, mess up our chances with these ducks. We got two coming on the left, two coming on the right, one up high. We're going to go for these two first. First one got it. Second one. Third one. And maybe fourth. Yes. All four of them down. We didn't quite get that duck there, but... Overall, I'd say that's a pretty good success. Four ducks down out of five. I'll take it. <laughs> that one just piled up way out there. Now remember, we have another flock of ducks that's going to come in uh, pretty soon too. So 
We can't wait around too long. We're gonna grab these ducks, get ready, and uh, get back. All right, let's go grab some of these ducks quick. And a 6.7 gold, that's a really nice one. 47 yards out. Beautiful looking duck, actually. And we got two more here. I think we got all drakes. That's a smaller drake, it's a silver. Still a drake though, and there's another gold, 6.5, 45 yards out. And this should be another drake. It is, actually, it's a silver. So another small one. That's the one we got at 78 yards out. Quite a ways out there, but still pretty cool. You know, I just realized that this spot here is kind of a beautiful spot for ducks. You can see all the way around us, all the way to the left, right out in front of us for a long ways and all the way to the right. Um, I don't know why I never hunted here before, but this is pretty incredible. Not only that, just take a look at that view. Oh, it looks like we had a loner duck coming in here, coming right down the pipe. Oh, we got two more coming in the back. Yeah, I think we're going to let this one land. It's a pretty good sized duck though. But if these two come in, it'd be cool to get all three of them. Well, hello, duck. It's actually kind of far out there. Ah, uh, guys, we got a huge flock of ducks coming right in, right down the pipe. Look at this. Ah, they're spreading out. I wish they would stay tighter together. Man, they are spreading out like crazy. But we definitely have about five or six coming right down the pike right at us here. Let's get ready. Let's get ready. Which one are we going to go for first here? Probably this one. Got him. Where did they all just go? What the? Well, we got one good drake, I guess. That's our biggest one yet, a 6.8 gold. I'm at 38 yards out and we'll probably get him mounted, but I don't know where the rest of that flock went. <laughs> that was so strange. Huh. Oh, that's a pretty good one. Looks like we have two ducks coming in. Looks like a hen and a drake kind of up high, but they might swing around. They're actually flying pretty low. We might just let them land. Oh, the Drake landed right on top of us. <laughs> the Drake is right on top of us. Well, you know, we do have the bow, so we might just try and take down this Drake with the bow here. Got the 300s equipped. Zero for 17. And did that duck just fly away with our tracer arrow? Well, I don't think we got him. I guess I was wrong. I don't understand how we missed that duck. <laughs> I was holding low, but I thought I saw the tracer fly away with the duck. Oh well. Hey, at least we got him. And he's going to score 6.7 gold. We got him at 95 yards out on the fly with the 22 pistol. We got ducks coming in. It looks like about five or six of them coming in right down the pipe here. A little bit high off to the right, but they should swing around. Uh, they're definitely coming in, but actually they're, yeah, they're quite a ways out there. They really are. So for some reason, this other flock didn't want to break. Well, they're breaking, but they're landing maybe like a hundred yards away from the decoys. And, uh, I don't know if it's because of hunting pressure or what, but we decided to move our setup over about 150 yards to the uh, west side over here. And I'm hoping that they actually land in this spot because there's less hunting pressure here. I see five of them coming in. I think that's going to be our flock right there. So hopefully they see our decoys and want to come this way. Like I said, they've been landing about 150 yards away before, but I'm really hoping we can get their attention. Come on. I even added about six more decoys out here just so we could try and get these guys to come in, but man, they're really not interested. They're absolutely not coming in to our decoys whatsoever. Huh. Now they're actually landing right next to where our blind was. We were set up right there before. So they're at least a little bit closer, but I just don't know what we can do to get them. Well, hopefully third time is going to be a charm because we just cleared a bunch of hunting pressure and I moved our whole decoy setup again 
over to this location here and I'm hoping that they come in finally we're again about actually we're 150 yards to the left before and then before that we're 150 yards to the right so now we're kind of splitting right down the middle well it seems like it's working because we got three coming right down the pipe right towards us here guys take a look at this and we have two more coming in on the right side over there I really don't want to sky bus but okay they're going down again but they're kind of going off to the side and we have two more coming up high here actually I think they actually might be coming in yeah they're definitely coming in finally it's been so long but it should finally work out here. We're going to take down this one first. Oh, we got that one mid-flight. And we got that one as well. Those two are a little bit too high. Yeah. I mean, might as well take a shot. But at least we got three of them, finally. It took a long time to get that figured out. We initially started on that point right there. And then we went over there about 150 yards. And now we kind of split the distance in the middle. And we got those three to come in. Oh, they're all piled up right in front of us here. So those are all hens. Well, that's not the flock I was looking for. There's a flock with a bunch of really nice drakes and I haven't seen it. That's because they're about 250 yards away from us. They're right out there. So I don't know why they're so far away now. Where are they at? way out there 290 yards away from us yeah we just can't quite get to them you know they're so smart but at least we got a couple of uh hens here yeah nice hen there at 26 yards out and another hen 51 yards out and another hen 30 yards out you know i kind of want to come back here early in the morning since we moved over, I'm thinking that maybe that flock might come in a little bit earlier. All right, so it's a little bit early in the morning this time. And I'm hoping that the ducks might fly this way first before they go over and land way out in the middle of this lake like they've been doing for the last couple of times. Uh, guys, I think it's definitely working because we got a huge flock of harlequin ducks and I think those are all drakes out there and they all just cupped up. I honestly don't really want to call I don't think we're in a call because it seems like they don't like that but that is a beautiful flock coming in here one cupped up right on the front looks like a nice drake there definitely gonna be one of the bigger ones but we're gonna try and get on these like seven or eight in the back here oh my god let's definitely take this one wow i missed that one three times but then i finally did get it I think we still ended up getting like four of them. I've been waiting so long to be able to get that flock to come in and yeah we definitely got four of them so I would call it a very much success right there the last flock we got four hens and now we just got four drakes and that's what we've been trying to get this whole time now awesome let's go over and go take a look and honestly why don't we take a picture because that's pretty cool actually looks like we got three drakes and a hen so not bad that's gonna be a hen a gold hen 6.6 .6. we got her in the skull at 55 and then there's a gold 6.5 drake left lunged him at 43 yards you don't see that every day that's kind of cool 6.5 gold then a 6.4 gold we got him in the neck at 19 yards out that must have been one of the first ones that came in just smoked him and then we got this one here 6.7 gold at 34 yards out and that's going to be kind of like our second biggest duck there just a cool looking duck though i think we'll get him on it 
So yeah, finally we were able to make that happen. Whoa, 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 whoa. More ducks coming in. That's a hen. Another hen taken off. We got her. I didn't expect on more ducks coming in as we're sitting out here, but it does tend to happen as soon as you want to get the decoys, then more ducks start to come in. Oh <laughs> uh, no, it's not a hen, that's a drake. That is so cool. I couldn't really tell because it was right above us and the sun was kind of blinding us a little bit, but a 6.5 gold drake, harlequin duck right there, and I'm like 90% sure that that is a hen though. Yeah, it's a dark hen. Well, that's cool. We got a gray and now we just got a dark. 66 yards out and I think we should probably get it mounted because I don't know if I've got one before. Cool. So we're going to head back to the trophy lodge, but before we do that, I do want to show you this location, even though I think I already did. Right here is Lumber Shore, kind of in the middle of the map. This outpost right here is Murphy's Landing. We had our decoy set up right on this peninsula here. We hunted from uh, five o'clock all the way through nine o'clock and just pounded the ducks in this area here Probably the best spot that I did find in all the other spots that we hunted The other spot that we hunted was over here by the stone hollow basin and we hunted right here up on this point uh, Five o'clock. It was good. Then we hunted here right here from uh, I think yeah Five o'clock in the morning this spot here was really good as well. And then the next spot that we went to that was sort of decent is this spot right here from nine o'clock until 11. well after a very long but very successful harlequin duck hunt out on the yukon valley i decided to come back to the trophy lodge and show you guys how we did first off i do want to show you this this is our first ever uh duck multi-amount with a coyote that we've done we have our down potential drake mallard there a hen mallard and our huge gold piebald mallard flying just like that so i think that looks cool anyways i wanted to show you guys that then over here we're gonna have our biggest duck that we did get today a 6.8 scoring gold harlequin duck so then i guess technically that would be our biggest uh, harlequin duck of the day and this is our second biggest one and then this is our gray hen harlequin duck she looks really cool so i definitely wanted to get her mounted and yeah i think those two look really good side by side right there and actually i kind of forgot that we could jump up here and get just a beautiful view of this duck this is going to be our biggest duck of the day a 6.8 gold and yeah overall that's gonna be it for this video hope you guys enjoyed it and again thank you guys so much thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time